hello and welcome it's Jillie Q I'm um, doing a quick little pour and I'm going to um, using up some use I'm using up some leftover colors from some gorgeous colors I've been using in the pours I've been doing last week so I'm just giving these two little 20 by 25 canvases well, I'm, I think I'm only going to coat the one side so I've done this in my navy and I'm going to pour some leftover colors that I've got on here and I'm literally going to kind of um, wiggle it on so this is the global um, wicker it's called now I am using my gorgeous gorgeous I have been using this for probably more than six months now but wasn't able to tell you all because it was in the process of getting it perfect to be a pouring medium that you can dilute down so it makes uh, one third extra than what you see in the container and you add it to your paint and you do the different um, thicknesses to suit whatever technique you're going to do. So this is a going to be a dip, a double dip which I always love them and I always like to do the paints a little bit thicker for my dipping um, the base coat is a bit thin so I'm a bit kind of thinking how is that going to work but we'll go for it go for gold see how we go with it so this is some of my dark sea which is one of my favorites so I'll put some of that doing the chevrons also doing kind of a wiggles look looks really nice with these and I think I'm pouring way too much paint on my canvas but because I've got a second one to dip in it I'm thinking that it you know the other canvas is going to absorb a lot of that paint so this is just a wiggle this color is called Tahiti and um, and then I've got a little bit of turquoise here, so I'll put a bit of that in. Right. I think I really want a colour to pop in that too, so I might add. What colour do you reckon will pop? I might add some of my champagne gold, which is 50% gold, 50% silver, and it makes this lovely champagne color and this because it's metallic it'll give it such a nice sort of a shimmery effect in there now I am should I add red or should I leave it oh the decisions maybe I might just add a little bit of red this is the cool red why is that not coming out Okay, it doesn't want to come out. It wants to come out like this. So I'm going to go with, literally go with the flow. Pour your heart out and all of that. And just do whatever the bottle has decided. So hopefully, I mean, there looks quite a fair bit of paint on there. But because I'm adding the other one, let's hope it soaks it up. These are so much fun to do with family and friends. Like... <laughs> 99% of the time they come out lovely and it is better to do them with slightly thicker fluid paint like not too thin I find you get nicer results from the thicker paint so I'm literally just squeegeeing this down and so it will fill hopefully all the other areas on my second canvas um, you can turn it which I suppose I'll give it a go, turn it right the way over. So it will transfer a lot of the paint from one canvas onto the second. Now, if you were going to sell or gift this particular little canvases, you would take the back and have a nice clean bottom. Um, it's always nicer that you've gone that extra mile to have a nice clean back on your canvases rather than not do that i find right here i might tip it back tip it back oh gosh oh my goodness this is already peeling off itself i'm gonna 
open it up. Oh my lordy, 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 look at the colours. Oh, that is so beautiful. Wow, wow. I, I mean, you just can't go wrong. I mean, I always have far less views on these dips than I do almost any other technique. And they're, they're such a good and easy thing to do, family, friends, children. And they have such a wonderful, they come out wonderfully. So it gives you lots of encouragement. You can actually do art when you thought you wasn't an artist. Look at all these lovely cells forming. I'm gonna give it a whiz over with my heat wand. Those colours are spectacular together. Absolutely winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, what I would do to the sides of my canvas now is just use my little sponge and I'll go round in the kind of, I think it was navy, I thought it was black, but it's a dark navy that I put the first coat. So I'll just do round the edges with my navy. But of course, to make this particular painting mine to show that it was me and it's from my heart 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 to heart i'm going to add some little balloon kisses this is a completely deflated balloon this one has got a little bit of water in and i find it gives it some like petal effects so let's see i'm going to keep this on the side this time see what we get oh look at this right keep wiping your balloon off each time because if you've got a bit of you know sort of heavy on the paint in one area the balloon actually helps you lift up some of the paint and you can actually use your balloon kisses from what you're doing on the canvas for the sides you know balloon kiss the sides of your canvas i'm not going to do it right now but it is a you know a nice thing you actually have to lift them up to do it. I think that is so gorgeous. That pop of gold in there really did work well. I think, I don't wanna do too many, but I do wanna, if I gift this or was to sell, then it's kind of my trademark now that people know it's a, a jelly cube paw, a piece of art or some people. Oh, that's what, yeah, I've been having a few comments. That's not art, but um, that's okay. Get people say that art can be anything you like. It's subjective. Radio, what do you think of those guys? Just, can you please slap my hand? I need to have a hand slapper to say stop. Because yes, I can go too far with the, okay. I was gonna use my other balloon because it sort of gives a, a little bit heavier, it gives, finish us off like, see, beautiful pedal effects in there really super duper nice oh my goodness i love this see if i take a high definition photo and i can just do it with my iphone you can get the most fantastic prints and make them any size you choose and sell your prints or you can even have your own design put onto wallpaper or different items you know clothing uh Oh, all sorts of things, t-shirts, the colours are absolutely really lovely. I, I'm super happy with those. I hope you enjoyed that fun little process. Get the kids at the table. Get You can even use um, poster paints. It doesn't have to be expensive paint for this particular technique. You can use poster paints and mix it with I would still suggest some pouring medium because it binds it together nicely. Keep the paint on a little bit thicker, not, it's still got to be flow 
but a little bit thicker and you'll find that it works you beaut super duper so I'm going to just finish off round those edges in the navy with a sponge brush if I can go find one and you'll see the photos at the end thank you my lovelies thank you so much for joining me I appreciate you uh, beyond belief please join me again tomorrow and if you haven't subscribed please do so bye for now